Hello, today I'm excited to introduce you to a powerful concept that can simplify your Kubernetes management. Search across Kubernetes clusters. You may be wondering, why is this important? Well, let's first delve into some real-world scenarios to understand the significance of this feature. Imagine your Kubernetes administrator responsible for managing multiple Kubernetes tenants. Here is a first use case. As an admin, you need to quickly assess the persistent volumes across the whole fleet to determine your storage commitments. Using the Red Hat ACM console, you can make this process a breeze. With just a few clicks, you can utilize the ACM search to display all the persistent volumes across your entire ACM cluster inventory. And it's that easy. ACM search empowers administrators to efficiently locate, view, and even take action on Kubernetes resources. But let's change our perspective a little bit here. What if you're not an admin, but a developer who wants to monitor your creations? And what if you don't have access to the central administration account? Well, in, the, in this case, you can still benefit from the search API. When ACM is installed, the search service is automatically enabled. So for this developer use case, all you need to do is create a route to make sure the service is accessible outside a Kubernetes cluster. By creating this route, you open up access to the search service for developers. Now let's take this a step further. Let's test out this URL using a tool called Postman to interact with the search API and expand our understanding. This not only helps developers, but also provides a more comprehensive visualization of what's really happening behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and set up Postman to make a search API request. First thing we need to do is create this new untitled request. We'll need to provide the right URL and notice the Search API is actually a GraphQL service. It provides access to all cluster data through GraphQL. So make sure to add this little addition at the end of the URL. Also make sure to define this as a post request. We need also to provide some authorization. So we need to select authorization and vary token. For the token, we'll need to jump over to the terminal really quick and run this command OCOMI-T get the token from here. Once you copy this and paste in the token field, last thing you need to do is select body and provide some queries and GraphQL variables and then you are able to make some requests. So for the query, we'll paste a query and for the variables, we'll need to define what we were looking for. Right, so for this developer use case, I'm looking for all the deployments that the search API can return to me, right? And actually I can go a little beyond and add that I just wanted to see the deployment for a given namespace. So I'll type namespace and filter by Pacman. And there it is. I'm ready to run my first search API request. So just gonna click the send button. And there it is. I'm getting all the deployments from the Pacman namespace across all my clusters. So I'm getting one from ARO Central, the Mongo deployment. I'm getting a Pacman deployment from ARO Central. In the same way, I'm getting two from the Boston cluster, Pacman and Mongo, so on and so forth. 